28 of 38, 401 yards, four touchdowns, zero interceptions, a 74% completion percentage. <laughs> I'm so happy I can't stand it. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Uh, did everything go great in this game? No. And, and under any other circumstances, I would be on here ranting and raving about uh, how terrible uh, it, the running game was. I think we rushed for eight yards. Uh, the defense... I addressed that at halftime. They didn't make any adjustments in the second half. I don't know what – I don't know. I, I'd be interested to see if somebody asked Kirby about that in the post game. The, the, the defense they chose to play, which is mostly a three-man rush, dropping eight, and some kind of weird soft zone. And, I, I, you know, I, it was just strange. Um, so normally I'd be on here ranting and raving about that. I, I'm besides myself with, 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 with JT Daniels. Uh 28 of 38, 401 yards, four touchdowns, no interceptions. I and and, and a lot of people are going to say, well, it's Mississippi State, and I and I get that, and and I'm not on here to to pretend that J T. Daniels is 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 some Heisman candidate now, or some you know Trevor Lawrence or Justin Fields or none of that. But that's not where the bar was at for quarterback play at UGA. I mean, have you watched any Georgia games this year? Stetson Bennett and Dewan Mathis are two of the worst Power Five quarterbacks in America. Period, and they're on the same team. It was awful. Uh, I, I mean, just look at the last time we played. Nine of twenty-nine for 112 yards with like three interceptions between them, or whatever it was. Th this this exceeded any and all expectations I had for JT Daniels, even going back to the summer. Um, he's not mobile. He can't move around, and that is going to be a problem at some point, but I'm not harping on any of the negative today. This is one time where the Disney Dog fans should be extremely excited and happy to watch a post-game Uncle Lou video. I wish we would have ran the ball better. I wish the defense would have played better. I'm giving all that a pass today. I wish we would have beat a terrible Mississippi State team by more than seven points. I'm giving all that a pass today. Because I, I, I am, I cannot believe I just watched a Georgia quarterback go 28 of 38 for 401 yards, four touchdowns, and no interceptions. A quarterback that basically has not played football since 2018. He played a half a game in 2019, first game of the season, and blew out his knee and has not played again since now. It was 14 months ago. Um, a guy that didn't show up in Athens until the summertime. A guy that, because of coronavirus, had no real offseason uh, to get prepared or ready, really. I just, I, I, I'm blown away. I'm blown away. He had a few underthrown balls, deep balls. He seemed to work that out a little bit in the second half. He's got great touch when he needs it. Uh, you know, he's not one of these guys that has a cannon and uses it all the time. He can put touch on the ball when he needs to. I was impressed with JT Daniels. I'm just going to admit, I'm just, I mean, what else can you say? The guy played great. Again, I'm, I'm not, uh, I'm not, I'm not overhyping it here and, and talking about Heismans and all this kind of stuff, but our quarterback play has just been incompetent. And so what I saw just now compared to that, I, I, I'm, I, I don't believe what I saw. I don't believe it. JT Daniels Christ. JT Daniels Christ transferred from Southern Cal to UGA. For our sins. Yes, for our sins. JT Daniels Christ 316 says, transfer from the Pac-12 to UGA for the forgiveness of Uncle Lou's sins. Thank you, JT Daniels Christ. A Demetrius Robertson sighting today? Not once, but twice? Was it more than twice? Dude had two good catches today. Unbelievable. This guy's been on a milk carton since 2016. Funny, it took a Pac-12 quarterback to resurrect Demetrius Robertson. JT Daniels Christ brought Demetrius Robertson back from the dead today. That's a miracle. Somebody needs to report this to the Pope or whoever's in charge of, of handing out sainthoods or whatever it is because anybody that's able to get Demetrius Robertson to have a productive game is clearly, clearly a miracle worker. JT Daniels Christ. 
the next coming. Next coming of what? A decent quarterback for the rest of the year. Uh, boy, you better watch Kirby's postgame practice. I can't wait to see. Like, Kirby's going to... I hope for Kirby's sake he blames it on the knee. Yeah, we knew he was the best quarterback, but we, we didn't want to rush him back because of his knee. Now, that's not true. Kirby's an idiot. And this guy should have been playing way back in week two when he was cleared to play. Would we have beat Alabama or Florida with JT Daniels? The, the world will never know. Probably not. Those two teams are clearly better than us with or without whatever quarterback situation we have. Hard to justify JT Daniels sitting on the bench for five, six weeks, though, when the best we had to offer was Stetson Bennett and Dewan Mathis. I fully expect Kirby Smart to come out and come up with an excuse, blame the knee, blame an injury. He, there's no way he's just going to come out and say, man, yeah, we were wrong. We should have been playing him all along, even though everybody knows that's the case. Again, JT Daniels was cleared to play the Monday after the Arkansas game. So he was cleared to play from the second game of the season and didn't. He dressed out for every game. He traveled to away games. He's been running the scout team, which is full contact and full speed. He could have been playing. Keep that in mind when you hear the excuses flow from Kirby Smart, which you will. You will. But, uh, man, uh, it feels like I've been waiting a long time to see a quarterback performance like that at Georgia. It does bother me a little bit. and it, it, You know, this is just like part and parcel of being a Georgia fan. This is just par for the course with being a Georgia fan. We have suffered through mediocre, below average, slash terrible quarterback play for three, four years in a row while we had dominant running games and elite defenses. We get a quarterback that, that lights it up for 400 yards and four touchdowns, 75% completion percentage, and we can't run the ball, and the defense looks like Swiss cheese. This is just, it's the, that's the most Georgia thing ever, isn't it? That's the most Georgia thing ever. If I would have told you, no matter who we were playing, that we were going to have eight yards rushing, you would have said, well, enjoy your L, and I would agree with you. I cannot believe we won a game. Let this sink in. We won this game today for one reason and because of one person and one only, and it was the quarterback. The quarterback... Georgia's quarterback has not won them a game since 2016. There's a couple of wins in 2016 that you can credit Jacob Eason for, where you say, man, if we didn't have Jacob Eason, we'd probably lose those games. Not a single win in 2017, uh, you can say, if we didn't have Fromm, we would have won, or 18, or 19. And none of the games we've won this year were because of Stetson Bennett or Dewan Mathis. Uh, we won this game for one reason and one reason only. And that was because of JT Daniels Christ. Now, can I get a moment of silence in the congregation, please? Uh, bow your heads. Uh, take your glasses off if you got them on. Show some respect. A moment of silence, please. Please. A moment of silence for none other than JT Daniels Christ. Not enough cowbell, you hillbilly hicks.